I was born in the jungle of Liberia, West Africa. And I, I remember one morning, um, my parents were getting ready to go to the farm. Um, and we heard about these rebels was gonna come, but we never knew when they were gonna come. We left my, my village and everything was okay. People was happy and my best friend, everybody were laughing and I just talked to them and then we came back. My whole village was on fire and my best friend, they just killed him and his hair got cut off and they set his hair in a row. While I was running for my life and never knew what was gonna happen, um, I got in the ambush with these rebel, and they, they told me that I was part of their group. Um, we shall never have any dream ever, but here I was. And this boy, little um, seven years old, he got shot in his stomach, and they forced me, they forced me to take this boy's body while he was bleeding. Here I was taking the boy's body, and they told me I was a child soldier. I was nine years old. So they, they would recruit all these force these boys from their family to make them to be child soldiers. And then they gave them AK-47, telling them they gotta go shoot people. And that was my life for almost a year and a half. I was feeling um, bad um, seeing most of the thing that I saw and shooting people being shot and people had being cut off with machete and you watching all the thing I couldn't go to bed and sleep at night because it was it was hard seeing things like that even though I wanted to cry but I couldn't cry because if I do I made I may be weak I couldn't show any emotion because um, I might get killed that's when I, I, I ran away and I went to the refugee camp where other people were living, what I knew I could be safe. I just came out of the ward and I never knew what was going on. And they told me there was a missionary and, and, and I went there and they reached out to me, they helped me and they, you know, take me to the hospital and then I got better. I never been into a missionary home before and that was my first time. They're showing their love f to me um, um, every day that make me lose up and, and, and it was amazing to see something like that. Because they are, they are continuing love to me and that make me to feel like, man, these people are real. And these same missionaries that I met are there now, they are my parents. Pastor Chad and Andrea adopted me and brought me to the United States. And it is just amazing to be adopted in a family that will teach you how to live for Jesus. Now I work on a grand crew as a team leader. These are guys that came from different lifestyles and just encourage them and build them up. God gave me the opportunity to go to different places and tell teenagers about Jesus. Basically sharing my testimony to them and just telling them that God loved them and they don't have to go through life by themselves. What God did in my life was very amazing, getting me hope and a future and something to look forward to. I am a free man in Jesus Christ today.